All right, as you know, we always have to end our show with a fun game. All right, so today's game is most likely to. The app will give us a phrase and we'll have to yell out the person on the panel that is most likely to do the thing. Oh, I love this game. You got directions right. So this is Rob. Yep. Rob. But yell the name Rob. for people on the oh, podcast Rob. too. So you can point Rob. and yell. Point and yell. No, no, Rob. I mean, yeah, I that's I not Rob. Point. That's Liz. Oh, I'm wrong. Okay, our point is right. Not right. Like a diagonal for me. We all look like a clock. Going different directions. <laughs> <laughs> Person is most likely to do it. Each round gets a point. Person with the most points wins the game. All right, let's get started. All right, who is the is most likely to order the cheapest item on the menu? Neo. 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 I was going to say Neo too. Yes, is it Rob? I can be very cheap. Neo. <laughs> we might both be cheap, but I know I can ask okay. my wife. She'll, <laughs> she'll tell you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, Neo gets a point. Resourceful. Okay, great. You're just resourceful. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Thank you, Gianni. Uh, Gianni always lying. wants to put a beautiful spin on it. That's hard. Who's most likely to be an undercover agent? Oh, I know. I, I, I'm picking Gianni. Rob? I'm picking oh, really? I'm picking Rob. I'm picking Rob. Rob. I'm Rob. Okay, all right. So it's I'm a tie. Trust then. Canada. It's don't a tie. Trust Canada. So. Gianni and Rob B both get a point. All right. All right. You've seen me at Halloween. I'm a master of disguise. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yes. Yes. I, oh, man. That's I, true. I think, I think I'm going to have to change my like answer. I'm sorry, Gianni. It matters 30 minutes for Halloween. Yep. I think I'm, ch I'm changing the answer. I'm sorry, Gianni. Rob. It's going to be Rob B. <laughs> <laughs> Although, though, Gianni is an actress, so, you know, she, she could do it too. Oh, oh. That's true. All right. All right. So, who is most likely to lose their phone? Liz? Mm, no. Not me. I'm going <laughs> not with Johnny on this one. Me? Okay. Yeah, I, I, I have. Yeah, you know, I have. I've never lost you're, my phone. There, you're, you're shooting these tech talk videos out in the field, out in the belt. <laughs> my, my, phone, my phone stays at home. <laughs> yeah, I, and you guys I, are right. I've never, I've never I've lost, never lost phone. my phone. I mean, I might have misplaced it momentarily. Oh, I've lost a lot of them. See? Johnny. <laughs> 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 but we were right. All right. And, all right, so Gianni, you yeah, do have a point it. now officially. So <laughs> Neo, Gianni, and Rob B are all tied. All right. So who is most likely to travel alone? Oh my Liz. God, me. I'm going with Lizzie. Yep. Liz. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't like traveling. Sorry, my life. I've been around the world and back again. <laughs> yeah. Alone. So uh, yes. Me. Wow. So tied all the way around. I, I hate traveling alone. <laughs> so I, I love it. Actually, I love having a travel partner. My wife is a great travel partner. I love. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. have travel partners. I like being alone. All right. Who is most likely to not know Neo. today's date? Neo. Neo. He barely knows the date Neo. of our show. Neo. <laughs> the air, so uh -oh. Neo. Uh -oh, Neo. Neo. That's I funny. can't lie now. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> that is actually Catch us on our next show on Sunday. Wednesday. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Who's most likely to become vegan? I'm going with Lizzie. Lizzie. I was going to say Liz, too. Yeah. yeah. Aren't you close to yeah. it already? I am close I to it. Um, I'm not vegan. I still love cheese and I do eat um some seafood, but we getting close to it. Right, we're so we're getting close to it. All right, me and you, Lizzie, you're tied so far. Yeah, tied. Yep, we're tied. All right, let's see. All right, who's most likely to pull a prank on a friend? Oh no, Rob. Friend, Rob B. Oh god. <laughs> there is no doubt. Looks like everybody Rob guessed definitely. Lizzie on the last one, by the way. And, wow. and they picked Gianni on the phone as well. <laughs> <laughs> I got the prank one. It's all Rob. <laughs> yeah, Rob B. Okay, so it's tied up. Okay, so Gianni, you're falling behind. Let's see. So what is this? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> it's the Grand Mafia. We went to too many. Yeah. All right. So oh who God. is most likely to be the best singer? Rob. Rob. I gotta get Rob B. He's, Rob. A, he's a rock yeah. star. Rob. He's a rock yeah. Star. He's a musical talent. So. All right. All right. We're gonna, we're gonna see. Let's see if we can, somebody can tie him real quick. All right. Who's most likely to bring a book to a party? Oh, God. Yes, Liz. definitely Lizzie. Liz. 
Yeah, All right, yeah. this is the last one. This is only between. Before. I bought a book on a date. I went to a bookstore on a date once. You so did? Yes. Oh. Uh, yeah. By the way, uh, Jose says, uh, Rob, Rob, welcome to my life, pranks. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Aww. You leave right, Jose alone. One. You leave Jose alone. Yeah. <laughs> this is between Lizzie and Robbie Rock. Let's see, who is Come most on, likely Rock. to look the best in 10 years? <laughs> <laughs> Looks the best that we're gonna have I mean, to go for. I don't know. That's hard. I'm going with Rob B. I'm picking Rob B. Rob B. Rob B. the best. What? Because <laughs> I love you both. <laughs> now we talking truth, not love. We're going love. online. We're going. We're going. <laughs> <laughs> Lizzie, I'm not an old you know man. What? I'm losing we're gonna his get edges. answers online, and we're gonna decide you the winner. No edges. Yes. You lost some <laughs> edges. You've been lost some edges. <laughs> lost some <them> edges. <laughs> All right, we're going to go to that online. We're going, to, we're going to get an answer online, and that'll be our... <laughs> we'll figure out who the winner is between Lizzie and Robbie. Who is going to look the best in 10 years? Give us answers online. 10 All years. Right. Don't go by what I look like on Twitter, where Neo makes me white. <laughs> where Neo makes me white on the show. out your color. Go by reality. <laughs> and actually, Neo tries to make Rob pink as well, so we both suffer with Neo. <laughs> Robbie is pink. What are you talking about? <laughs> Rob is not pink. He is not. I'm more pink right. than white. <laughs> Before we close, <laughs> you guys are silly. All right, let's get some shout outs in. He's more of an egg shell. <laughs> All right, let's start with uh, let's start with Lizzie today. Shout out. Shout out to Spring Break. Oh my <laughs> God. Week is spring break. I do not have to zoom all week, so I will be knee deep in papers. I am so far behind in correcting papers, grading papers. So yes, spring break. I need this, y'all. I need this. So yes, shut up. Shut up. Spring break. All right, Robbie Rock, what you got? Uh, my shout out is to the uh, U.S. and Canadian Coast Guard. Uh, earlier this week, uh, off the coast of Nova Scotia, the Atlantic Destiny uh, sent out a distress call going down and a joint venture between our two nations rescued all 32 crew. Zero people perished and the, the ship went down, unfortunately, but everybody wow. was rescued. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. All right. Great shout out. That is a good one. All right, Johnny Storm. Um, shout out to JT. Uh, thank you for joining us. I really appreciate that. I really enjoyed. Walk I walked for JT. If, if anybody remember the episode, I walked for his um, his fashion brand at a show here in Atlanta. So nice. I really loved oh. his thing. So, um, so that red yeah. dress was one of JT's. It was actually nice. a monogram dress. It was like a long monogram dress, and oh, wow. I have to show you guys again. Yeah. yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I don't, I don't have nice. that video anymore. We should definitely bring it up. All right, yeah, so mine I'll goes to my shout out goes to 13 year old Samarian Humphrey, who was allegedly bullied and subjected to racial slurs, as well as being forced to drink the urine of another child during a sleepover in Plano, Texas. The story's not getting a ton of press, but it's absolutely ridiculous. I posted it on my Facebook page, so follow me at Neo Nix uh, on Facebook. Um, but I want to hear your comments on the story. So definitely follow me and tell me what you think about this story. And hey, if you have a business event or person you want to shout out to, follow our hosts on social media and reach out to any of them on their social media news feeds. We may shout you out. But before we close out, we have one more thing to do. We have to get mm -hmm. the final votes on our TLS Creative Contest for our new mm -hmm. t-shirt. T-shirt. Okay. Let me go back through them, guys. So get your votes ready. I, I don't know if there was any comments online about this, but let's get our votes ready. This is number one from Lamina Canoe. Thank you, Lamina. Lamina Canoe. This is TLS, TLS, TLS. All right. The next one. Truth versus lies with the I from Dejan Sutton. Thank you, Dejan. And then this will be the last one. This was again a text submission. Let the shenanigans begin or caution, I may be prone to shenanigans by Joshua Valdez. All right. Thank host, you, Joshua. Joshua. Thank Thank you. Your vote. One, two, or three. Let's start with Johnny. 
I'm going to go ahead, because I'm picturing this on a shirt. Um, I'm going to go ahead with the third one by Joshua. Joshua Valdez. Uh, but I will pick the first, um, like, the let the shenanigans begin. Uh, stay. Okay. The free, like, let the shenanigans begin. Okay. Robin yeah, Mark. I like that. Uh, yeah, well, you know, I'm following suit with Johnny here. I do like Joshua's submissions with the slogans, and the one that made me chuckle, one that really got me was uh, the caution. I may be prone to shenanigans. It's uh, welcome to my life. <laughs> okay, it speaks two, to me. Two votes for Joshua Valdez. All right, Izzy. So I too am going with number three. Ooh, Joshua. Um, Joshua. Valdez, I'm going to join Gianni in picking the first iteration, Let the Shenanigans Begin, because I can imagine myself in a t-shirt, v-neck please, but like across the nice boobage, <laughs> let the shenanigans begin. Oh, so, yes. yeah, I like that. Okay, yes. that's yep. a good one. All right. <laughs> yep. All right, so it's uh, it's unanimous like then. So number three, and, and I like, again, I like Let the Shenanigans, I like both of them actually, but Joshua came up with some really good slogans, so really good, Joshua, thank you. Joshua, Thank I hope you. you're watching. If you're not, we will definitely be in touch with you and we'll get you on one of our shows. So nice. thank you, Joshua. All right. So that officially ends our show. That is all the time we have. Um, and I'd like to thank all of you for joining us. We hope that maybe you learned something new, gained a new perspective, or got some things off your chest. Don't forget, you need your support to keep this going like follow and subscribe at tls live show and if you'd like to donate paypal.me slash tls donate now if you missed of any any of today's episodes subscribe on youtube to catch clips and replays tomorrow and don't forget to subscribe to the audio version of the podcast on itunes or anywhere you listen to podcasts our next live show is on wednesday march 10th 8 p.m eastern time 5 p.m pacific We'll have good friend Micah from Black on Black Cinema back to discuss the new movies, The United States of Billie Holiday, and Coming to America 2. Also, be sure to follow at TLS Live Show. Watch Gianni Storm and Olivia on Fridays at 6.30 p.m. Our winner for the final thought of the day is... Looks like it was Liz E. Liz. The Z apparently is the one who's most likely to look but, the same but, in 10 years. Although I did get some comments for saying that, I, you know, I've looked the same for the last 20 years. So I was going to say, <laughs> and, 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 and Jackie, our, our, our girl Jackie Robinson is also saying that there's some good genes going on. That's biased. Just <laughs> 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 All right. a, little bit, a little bit of nepotish. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> All right, Lizzie, close us out. Closing us out with, I'm challenging the District of Columbia, the D.C. government, to get their shit together as it relates to the COVID vaccine. So for the second week in a row, their COVID vaccine sign-up website has not worked on the days that they have told us to go to the website and try to sign up. The website hasn't worked. The hotline hasn't worked. There are only, for two days, there are only about 3,500 appointments available. There are over 600,000 residents of Washington, D.C. Get your shit together. And this is another reason why D.C. needs to be a state, because as D.C. is not a state, we don't get the same number of vaccinations, of vaccines, as the states do. So D.C. needs to get its shit together. Population DC, residents, D.C. residents, wow. you need to get your shit together and support statehood. Absolutely. Thank there you, Izzy. We, we appreciate that final No, part. I still don't have an appointment. I still haven't been vaccinated. I still got type 1 diabetes. It's oh awful. It's awful. Mm -hmm. I'll have to get you in some. All right. Thank you, Gianni. Thank you, Robbie Rock. Thank you, Lizzie Anders. And special thank you to J.T. Garner of Logix. Make sure you check out his website, wearelogix.com. All right. Thank you, guys, and have a great time. We'll see you Wednesday.